Hi everyone, I'm Beth Motter here with Danny Palmer of ZDNet to explain why mobile malware attacks are on the rise and what exactly that means for everyone carrying one of these in their pockets. Danny, we all carry mobile devices, so why now is this mobile malware taking off? The simple answer is everyone stores all of their personal data on their, on their mobile phone. If a cyber criminal can gain access to that, not only can they gain access to things like um, the things that cyber criminals tend to go after, like usernames, passwords, that sort of thing. The way apps are used means it's possibly easier to get hold of things like banking details and other personal information. People take a lot of photos they store on their, on their phones. People store a lot of private messages and files on their phones. And phones also have the ability to track your location. So for, a, for, for more advanced groups, especially those which are, let's call them elite hacking operations, which look to track the location and of, of their victims, uh, they're really important. Plus add into that how phones are cameras as well. So they have audio recording, they have video recording. So if a cyber attacker can stealthily gain access to a mobile device, it's, it's a massive gateway into um, not just stealing details, but finding access to people's entire lives. Yeah, we sort a lot of information. You, you almost don't realize how much stuff is on your phone, but exactly what tactics are criminals using to deploy the malware? But when it comes to the more basic malware, things like um, adware, crypto miners, um, some of the more basic forms of uh, identity stealing uh, malware, it's usually like uh, traditional, in inverted commas, uh, cyber attacks done by um, coercing people into downloading uh, things or clicking links. Um, one thing that's often being used now, as detailed in a new report on mobile malware by McAfee, is cyber criminals are attracting people by creating fake apps which look like popular applications. Uh, the one referenced in this report is a Call of Duty application about the, about the video game. What they did to distribute this was they used things like YouTube and Discord to um, post links. So people would see YouTube videos, go and look at the comments. Some of the links in the comments would be links to these malicious downloads. The same with Discord. They would go into the chat application and say, hey, look, here's a free download for Call of Duty. Click here. Um, when it comes to the installation, people go, oh, all right, cool, free, free thing. And go and go and go and install it. Where the criminals are being sneaky in this case is that the attackers would say, "Hey, download this. Here's a link." Um, the person clicks on the link to download it, try to install the malware. Uh, with this particular malware, it's detailed in the report. When the person went to install it on their phone, the, their phone told them that, "Oh, this this application is not available in your location." However, uh, what really happened was that was just a bluff. That was the cyber criminals making a person go, okay, this didn't work, never mind. While in the background, that malware was now had become adware. It would, had installed itself in the back end of the phone, didn't have, a, didn't have an icon to show you where it was, really deep within the phone, so it couldn't be removed. And then it just launched pop-up adverts and uh, clicked links and downloaded things in the background without the person knowing and it's really sneaky but it, it's working for the cyber criminals because in many cases the activity will be going on without the person knowing about it and even if they do know about it because of the pop-up adverts they're not necessarily going to make the link to it being something installed on the phone so it becomes annoyance they'll basically click uh, yes or no on the, on these things to make it go away but that's not going to solve the problem for them because these things are so deeply ingrained on the device. Yeah, Danny, you're exactly right. They're becoming more and more sneaky as time goes on. So I guess the final question is, how do we protect ourselves from falling victim? One of the simplest things to do is only download applications from trusted sources. In this, in the example I just described, people are given links to some third party site by uh, a random off the internet that's probably not a good way to stay secure. So one of the best ways to ensure you're as secure as possible is to use official channels, uh, like, like the Apple App Store, like Google Play, because these have a much, much 
better reputation for keeping malicious apps out. Sometimes malicious apps do sneak into these into these official stores, but 99 times out of 100, you're going to be downloading something that's legitimate. Also, uh, when it comes to these downloads, um, if it is from one of the, the official stores, check out the reviews for the application. If the review is full of people complaining that, oh, this app didn't do anything, or this app you know, is rubbish, this app just gives me ads, it might be a sign that this is something that is, uh, is, is malicious. So probably best not to download it. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, it's probably best to only install applications you, you're absolutely sure you really need and to check out what applications are doing. Um, a common example for malware is they, it will disguise, disguise itself as a flashlight application. Um, but when the person installs this, the application wants access to all your contact information, your microphone, uh, how, the ability to take photos. If the application is asking for this, uh, it might be worth thinking, why does a camera application, for example, a basic application designed to do one task, need all of this information? And in many cases, it could be because it might be a malicious app. So it's, it's a good idea just to be careful out there uh, when installing these things to ensure that you don't fall victim to one of these attacks, especially as cyber criminals turn more and more towards mobile as a means of uh, committing cyber crime. Yeah, Danny, all really important information. Thank you for that. And for more on Danny's article and all things cybersecurity, be sure to stick with ZDNet.